Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Kenda with Crafty Plans Crafty Kitchen and today we're going to plan for the week of Halloween in my daily duo. Please do not mind my nails. I need to redo, redo them for this week actually. But let me see, let's get this together here first. So I am using a Planner Cake Kit um, MK257. So these for the daily duo. So I've got the date headers, the top boxes, the dates, and then I only purchased the one box. Um, I don't typically write in that box. So and I purchased two of the sets of washi. So what we're gonna do is just lay down the um, skeleton of it because I have to review what's going on for next week in order to do the write-in part. So that'll probably be in the second half of this video. So if you want to see a quick flip through, I just used washi and just some stickers for last week. Now I haven't really been posting lately. It's been a little crazy with school, so. But that's basically what I've got going. Alrighty, so let's get started. Put our dots down here. So I hope everyone is doing very well staying safe prepping for halloween halloween is actually our favorite holiday in this house because we love all things halloween so we have been watching all of our favorite scary movies and we also um halloween is our fifth wedding anniversary so that's exciting we're not doing anything exciting for it we're just staying home because my husband works in the hospital and so we don't typically go out because we're trying to steer clear of COVID as much as possible. And since he's in the hospital, um, we just don't risk it anymore. We just continue to quarantine in case he picks something up and we don't know it yet. We don't want to expose anybody else. So we only go out if we need to. I am trying to figure out the um, candy situation. I don't know if people are trick-or-treating out here or what. We typically only have like two groups of kids that come by on Halloween. So I don't know if it'll be more because the schools aren't doing it or if it will be less. I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to leave that orange peeking through because that goes pretty well. I may leave a bucket of candy out as like an honorable type deal. We may try that out. But the other problem is I don't know how much candy to buy. Every time I think we're going to have a lot of trick-or-treaters, we don't. We end up with a lot of leftover candy, which isn't always a bad thing, but it is when you're trying to stay on a diet, so. All right. And the other thing happening during this week is on Friday, I took that day off to give us a three-day weekend because... I request all of my days off at the end of the year through my regular work and so I had already requested off because I was going to plan like a big thing we were going to go somewhere I was going to do like a whole three day weekend thing but then quarantine all happened so that was out the window but I decided to keep my days off because why not? I don't know 
what to talk on these things when I'm not doing a voiceover and telling you what's going on. If you're hearing any noise in the background, that is because my little bacon is chewing on his ball. does that every morning. And this one, I think we are going to cover the lines because it turns blue. So I do have plans to post a video, um, like an intro video, so that y'all can see my face and get to know me a little bit more, and not just my hands. Um, I just haven't been able to film that yet, so I am hoping to get that up. I also want to share with you my current lineup and what my lineup's transitioning to. I think we're going to use that pumpkin's up there, so I'll use this one. Um, I am changing some things up for 2021, you know, because that's how we roll. <laughs> I've actually been watching a lot of Elena over at the Organized Money. Get that, that didn't go all the way over there. Um, I love her videos. If you haven't seen her videos, she has no clue who I am, but, um, if you need some really good budgeting tips or just some ideas on how to, a different way of organizing your planner, I'm gonna have to use something to cover that. It doesn't reach the line. Okay. She does really, really good videos with that. And I'm actually switching my catch all planner, which has been my Erin Condren weekly planner which I'm still going to finish that one out and decorate in it and all of that. We'll probably decorate on this channel in this, in that one, but, um, I am going to be using a happy planner big next year and I've already started setting it up and kind of using it. And I've been using, um, printables off of Etsy for it to kind of make it my own with the different sections that I need. So, I always end up heading right back into the disc planner world because I just love the customization of it. I am going to still use a daily planner. So this one will last until June. So I will continue to use this one throughout. And then I'm kind of debating on what I want to switch into as far as a daily planner. So what I use this for is I break everything down by day and by hour of what actually has to get done in that day. And I work off of this first, and then if let's say I blocked out my time from eight to four with a bunch of work tasks, if I finish those work tasks, then I would look in my catch-all planner under my work section for tasks that don't necessarily have to be done this day, but that I can now get done because I had more time. So this is more of like a focus, get this stuff done today kind of a planner. Um, and I'm going to give you guys a whole flip through of how I've set it up. I'm still just kind of working out the kinks in it, but I'm excited to use that. I also have a video coming with my power sheets, so stay tuned for that. All right, so I'm going to throw on a little bit of music and we're going to go through each day and I will map out how my day is going to go in the next clip and then we'll meet right back here.
So I do work until about 4.30, but I'm leaving this time here open because I've put non-work related task in here, but that's because then I can bump it if I need to. I like to leave this extra time open in case a meeting pops up down here and things end up shifting. So I put something in this area so that I have something to move and I can readjust the most important tasks in my day. It's been working that way, so. Up here, I'll probably put like anything I'm expecting or like if I'm expecting a package, I'll put the weather up here or if there's something that's really pertinent that needs to get done, I'll put that up here. I don't typically do anything in this spot. Um, occasionally I'll decorate in it, but not too often. All right. Okay, so we're on Friday now and I've decided to use the decorative box for Friday just because that's the day that I took off of work for our anniversary. It's also the day that I'm hoping and hoping I can schedule someone to come pick up this old furniture because oh my goodness, 
our new furniture is in this week. I should be getting a call about our table. That's the only thing they were waiting on. And then they'll schedule a delivery date for either how on Halloween or probably that following Monday. I don't know if they deliver on Sundays. But in any in any way, we have to get our furniture out. So I'm not really writing any to-dos or schedule on here right now. Just because I don't know when all of that's going to take place yet. So I wanted to make sure I had it decorated, it's ready, and as I get closer and know... When things are scheduling, I'll be filling in Friday as well. And then the weekend's going to end up being kind of similar to where I don't have a lot going on. Because again, it's my husband and I's anniversary. So it's not going to be any different of a day as far as us doing stuff. We're probably going to... I know we have a lineup of horror movies because we are big horror fans. So... I know we are going to be, if you need some list of movies to watch, we are going to be watching the Hatchet movies from Adam Green. So if you've never seen that, check it out. It's a good popcorn movie. Um, it's like a, it's like a slasher film, but, um, I don't know. It's not scary. I mean, I guess it would depend on your level of scariness, but it, we enjoy it. It's a good watch if you are a horror film fanatic. Um, and then we're probably going to watch Trick or Treat. That's another one that we really enjoy. So that one we always watch on Halloween. And then we might watch some non-scary movies, you know, just to end the night with like Hocus Pocus and all of that kind of stuff. I kind of want to see what they did with the witches. So we may put that in there. So it's just going to be movie nights. He'll probably buy himself a pumpkin. My husband loves carving the pumpkins. That's not my thing. Like, I'll buy it at the store. Michael's already done. Stick a candle in it. I'm good. But he likes to do the whole shoot and match. So he'll probably do that. And then I'll have to let you guys know what we figure out with the candy situation with the trick-or-treaters around here. Because I'm not real sure. So I just wanted to add some deco to the page and then... Closer to the end of the week, I'll be adding in different things that might need to get done. Um, I will have assignments and that stuff to work on because obviously school doesn't take a break for Halloween. But as far as anything major, we're not going to be doing too much. Just hanging out at home. So if you're wondering about the stickers that I'm using, that is from the Happy Planner All of the Seasons Mega Sticker Book. Um, I hunted for that book because I did not want to pay $50 for it. So I waited till it was on sale and I had a coupon <laughs> and snagged it up then. It is a very hard book to find. I know I can't really even find it on their website. I don't think, I think you have to get it at the stores, so... But it's a good one to have because it has all the fall stuff in it and I love that. Alrighty, so I think we are at the end of our video here of this plan with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be having more plan with me's coming in November. And so I hope if you have subscribed already, thank you and thank you again for watching. If you haven't, please hit that subscribe button. I am wanting to post videos every Monday. If I can do bonus videos, I will be doing some bonus videos for you all. But otherwise, my schedule right now till the end of the year will be posting videos every Monday. If you have not seen my last Crafty Kitchen video, it was an unboxing of the Pampered Chef Taste Buds. It's their first subscription box that they've done. Very exciting. Make sure you um, check that video out. I will link it in this card. I know it's not planner related, but... I was really excited to see this box come and I will be getting another one for November that I will be sharing as well. And stay tuned. I will have that intro video up as promised so you can actually see my face, get to know me a little bit, and I will see you in the next one. Bye now.